Okay, guys, now we are going to talk about metals. So metals are a whole big group of different elements. Right here, as you can see, these are all different metals. So let's see if we can outline that right here. So there's a big chunk of the periodic table that are metals. Um, even technically, this these elements are metals. We don't talk about these much because they're they just don't they're they're not found very common in nature, so they don't really ever um, have to do with most of the science that we do. But technically, those are metals. So metals make up a huge chunk of of the different elements. Okay, and um, we use metals all the time as humans. We use iron for building stuff. We use copper for like copper wiring um, zinc is an important nutrient in our bodies um, what are some other ones Ooh, where's uh, platinum is like used for jewelry same with gold mercury is used for some uh, thermometers and stuff like that uh, and there's other things that are important in our bodies like sodium potassium and calcium are important nutrients so while we're not mostly made of metals um, metals do play an important role in our body okay so um Metals are usually quite dense compared to other elements. Like, think about it. Uh, uh, if, you're, if you've ever picked up a piece of iron before, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty dense. Um, they conduct electricity, usually. Electricity. We talked about what that means a little bit in the last video, but it, it means um, that... Electricity will flow through a metal. That's why the inner, inner part of wires are made out of, out of metal, like copper. Um, they are malleable, usually. It means they can bend. You can, you can um, if you get it hot or you push hard enough, you can bend metal to make it into all these cool different shapes. Uh, they are often shiny. Okay. Um... And yeah, they they can they are used for many many different things. Let's find a let's find a good uh, example of a metal here. Oh, this is a diamond. Th diamond. This was I forgot to show you this part for the last video I made. But diamond is made entirely out of out of carbon. So diamond's a good example of a non-metal. Let's look up some iron. So here's a good chunk of pure iron. You can see it's shiny. Um, it's going to conduct electricity. It's quite dense, so heavy. Uh, yeah, there you go. That is what makes up metals.